Hello, this is Dr. Stephen Meyer in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I'm going to be talking about using bone marrow aspirate concentrate containing stem cells and growth factors for the treatment of knee pain due to cartilage damage and osteoarthritis. Bone marrow aspirate concentrate, or BMAC, is obtained from a pelvic bone called the iliac crest, which is a rich source of stem cells and growth factors. The aspirated fluid is then placed into a centrifuge where it is spun at a high velocity. As a result of the centrifugation process, the red blood cells separate to the bottom of the test tube from the plasma which is left on top. And in the middle is a layer called the Buffy coat, which contains concentrated stem cells and growth factors. The Buffy coat is then isolated from the other layers and extracted for therapeutic injection. What we have learned about treating osteoarthritis with orthobiologics is that it is important to treat not only the damaged cartilage, but also inside the bone itself, which is often affected by the disease process as well. MRI scans will reveal the presence of bone marrow lesions, which are areas of local tissue distress that can lead to inflammation and pain. A small metal delivery cannula is then drilled into the bone marrow lesion using fluoroscopic or live x-ray guidance. BMAC containing stem cells and growth factors is then loaded into a syringe to be injected directly into the bone. This is called an intraosseous injection. Injecting stem cells and growth factors inside the bone stimulates healing, remodeling, and reconstitution of the bone. The inside of the knee joint itself is then finally injected with the stem cell and growth factor BMAC solution. This is performed under ultrasound guidance for maximal accuracy. After injection, the fluid then circulates throughout the joint, coating the cartilage surfaces to provide its beneficial effects. Using BMAC containing stem cells and growth factors to treat both the cartilage and bone of osteoarthritic knees has helped many patients experience relief of pain and restoration of function. Failing to address the bone lesions as well as the cartilage may be the cause of less than optimal results in some stem cell procedures, and therefore I feel strongly that all disease tissue must be addressed to ensure best results. If you have any questions about this or related topics, please feel free to reach out to me through my website at mosm.com.